In today's world, there is a lot of buzz around machine learning, artificial intelligence, so company managers and, uh, you know, whoever feels obliged to do something with machine learning. But when do we really need machine learning? And how do we understand if we need machine learning? Yeah, this is a great question because there's so much pressure for everyone to be a machine learning person and to do machine learning. And if you're not doing it, you're being left behind. So let me talk about sort of two extremes. On the one extreme, there's very simple things. And these are, you could think of it as, if you think you're gonna have to modify a program five, six, seven times to get it right, you probably don't need machine learning. And, and an example I use for this is, you wanna write a program to update someone's bank balance. They withdraw some money, update a new balance, maybe some transaction tracking, that sort of stuff. Machine learning would be terrible there because it's very simple to understand, very contained, and the cost of mistakes are high. On the other hand, there's four categories of problems where you might imagine you're gonna to need to update your system hundreds or maybe even thousands or tens of thousands of times before you get it right. So let me quickly go through these four areas. One is very large problems. I mean, imagine you're going to a library and you need to classify every book in the library, you know, from scratch to get them in the right places. That could take a long time. But on the internet, there's more content than that. There's more content than a hundred people could watch in their lifetimes or a thousand people could watch in their lifetimes. If you want to classify everything at a very large scale like this, you probably want to use machine learning to get a start and to make progress on the problem. But it's worse than that because what we have in the world aren't just large problems. We have open-ended problems, and that means there's more content being created every day. So, you know, if your problem is open-ended and things are coming in day after day after day and you need to respond to them, you probably could use machine learning. It would be a great tool. The third category is time-changing problems because things change. Uh, your system might have been right for yesterday, but now a big storm has come and everything is different and you need to adapt your intelligence. There's so many reasons that things change that you might want to look into machine learning if your domain has large frequent changes. And finally, there's just hard problems like computer or human perception, winning open-ended games like Go, landing rocket ships. I mean, these things are just hard and these would be good cases for machine learning. So what you have to do is look at your problem. If it's simple and you can update a few times to get it right, probably try to start without machine learning. But if your problem is large, open-ended, time-changing, or intrinsically difficult, you might want to look at machine learning. So for the common man, I think uh, uh, one, one, uh, one example that I found very interesting in your book was this uh, example of the toaster. How do we go about designing such a toaster? This is a funny story. When I first started writing this book, I was talking with one of my friends and he said, well, you need an example of when you absolutely wouldn't need machine learning and you should use a toaster as that example. And I said, okay, challenge accepted. Let's see why machine learning might help a toaster. So let's look at it. Let's imagine what a um, fancier toaster could be. Let's add a temperature sensor to the toaster. So when you put something in it, the, the toaster knows how cold it is. Let's put a weight sensor so it knows how much mass is in there. Let's put a clock so we know if we're toasting in the morning or toasting in the evening. Let's do GPS so we know what country you're in with, you know, maybe different tastes are different in different countries. And let's put in a camera so that when you walk up to the toaster, it knows just who it is. So it can personalize the toast just for you. Now, just imagine all the toasting that's been going on through the history of humanity and all the human attention that's being placed on this. What if all of that data and all of that intelligence was being sent up to a server where we could learn what are the right things to do using all this extra context you don't have to do big fancy things to make a valuable product for people. You could do something simple and just solve it very well if you can do the machine learning efficiently and reliably enough.